Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up and start the ICNSRT Mark III Sound Level Meter Data Logger and give a brief overview of the Instrument Management software. To start, download the Instrument Management software. The location for this is on the box and in this video's description. Follow the prompts to download the software. Once downloaded, plug the included USB into the logger, then plug into your computer. Find the downloaded software and open. If required, adjust the timing. The Noise Sentry software will open up like this. This is a setup page. Here we can see and adjust the real-time acoustic signal. There's an auto range button, memory fill indicator, timer button, record button, instrument time indicator, tab selector, instrument temperature indicator, erase button, instrument user ID, instrument information, settings button. Under settings, you can select weightings between dBA, dBC and dBZ. Select a bandwidth between 16 and 24 kilohertz. Select a log interval. Select data to be recorded. Adjust the time constant for sound level measurement. This only affects L min and L max. Save your selections or recall saved selections. After the desired settings are selected, press OK. On the remainder of the setup screen, there is a field calibration button, factory condition, charge and recording time field, and sound level indicator. Skipping to records shows where your recorded information will be displayed. We will go over this after logging some sound recordings. The third tab is spectrum. This is used to display a real-time power spectrum for the NSRT Mark III. Icons on this page are cursor zoom and pan controls, cursor values display, the DB Lin button, auto scale button, cursor, the spectrum, spectral controls, spectrum reset, and record buttons. Under the setup tab, when the record button is pressed, it will illuminate green, indicating that recording has begun. The sound level data logger can be unplugged from the computer and placed in the desired location. For confirmation that the logger is recording, see the LEDs on the side of the unit. Two blinks per second of the green operation LED shows the instrument is actively recording. After you've finished collecting your data, plug the sound level logger back into the computer and reopen the instrument management software. Press the record button again to stop the instrument from recording. Go to the records tab. The software will now prompt you to download the data. Press OK then wait. The collected data will appear on the graph. On the screen you can toggle the record number selector to view the current or past data. View a particular set of collected data in the cursor field. Move the cursor to select information. View the recorded levels. Toggle data with the DBLAN button. Pan the graphed data using these buttons. View the source of the collected data. Open, save, download and export collected data. This section is the global level, the dose calculation method. You can select between ISO 85, ISO 80 or OSHA. This is the global level time weighted average value. And lastly, you can select the percentiles. And that's how to get started and a quick overview of the instrument management software for the IC NSRT Mark III Sound Level Meter Data Logger with a Type 1 microphone. To view the complete user guide or to speak with an instrument choice scientist about this meter, see the links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.